Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay magsasolve tayo ng more derivatives problems. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time ay magsasolve lang tayo ng more derivatives problems para mas ma-practice tayo sa paghahanap ng derivatives ng different functions. So, dito sa video na to, ang isasolve natin is yung mga, I think, na complicated uh, functions na pwede nating hanapan ng derivatives. Okay? So, i-apply natin dito so far yung mga natutunan natin sa videos ko about uh, formulas ng derivatives as well as yung iba't ibang derivative rules. Okay? So, let's start with example number one. So, find the derivatives of the following. So, for the first one, we have y is equal to 4 ln of ln of ln of second x. So, hanapin daw natin yung y prime or derivative nitong given function. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong series of composite function. Kasi meron tayong outside function, tapos may inside function, may inside function pa, tapos inside function. So, therefore, series chain rule yung gagamitin natin. So, kapag nagdi-derivative tayo using series chain rule, unahin natin i-differentiate yung outermost function, which is in this case, itong ln, right? So, pag derivative natin to, we have y prime is equal to itong 4 constant lang sa gigilid ko lang, times derivative ng ln is what? 1 over u, right? So, ang pinaka-u natin dito is itong inside function na ln of ln of second x. So, parang 1 over ln of ln of second x and then times derivative nitong inside function na to which is natural logarithm uli. So, anong derivative nun? 1 over this time, ang inside function nyo naman is itong ln second x na lang. So, pabawas ng pabawas. Papasok tayo ng papasok sa pagderivative Okay? So, we have ln second x Times derivative naman itong ln of second x, yung inside function para dito sa ln of ln second x. So, ln ulit. So, derivative niya is 1 over, this time, second x na lang. Kasi yun yung inside function ng ln natin. And then, last, derivative ng second x, which is sec x tan x. Okay? So, pag sinimplify natin, we have y prime is equal to, ito, makakancel yung second x. So, matitira sa numerator is 4 times tan x. So, 4 tan x over itong denominator natin. ln of ln of second x times ln of second x. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have y is equal to 10 times Quantity 1 plus quantity 2 minus quantity 6 plus 7x to the 4th raised to 9 raised to 3rd raised to the 5th. Okay, so mapapansin nyo, series of composite functions ulit. Kasi, kasi meron tayong outside function, yung expression nito naka raised to 5. And then yung inside function is a composite ulit kasi meron tayong quantity na naka to the third plus 1, tapos yung inside uli nun is meron tayong quantity na 2 minus expression na naka to the 9, and then yung inside is another polynomial na 6 plus 7x to the fourth. Okay, so series of chain rules. So, magsisimula tayo mag-differentiate sa outermost function. So, therefore, we have y prime is equal to itong constant na 10 gilid lang times so, ito muna ang outermost function yung expression na naka sa 5th power. So, power formula. Baba si 5 times copy yung inside function na 1 plus 2 minus quantity 6 plus 7x to the 4th raised to the 9 raised to the 3rd raised to 5 minus 1 is 4. Times derivative natin tong inside function niya na so, yung 1 derivative niyan is 0 so kahit hindi ko na isulat then, itong derivative nitong 2 minus 6 plus 7x to the 4th quantity raised to the 9 raised to the 3rd power rule ulit. So, baba si 3 times copy yung inside function nyo na to. So, 2 minus 6 plus 7x to the 4th raised to the 9 raised to 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay? Times 
derivative naman natin yung instant function niya na 2 minus 6 plus 7 x to the 4 raised to the 9. So, chain rule nga ulit. So, derivative ng 2 is just 0. So, kahit hindi ko na isulat, then differentiate natin itong negative quantity 6 plus 7 x to the 4 raised to the 9. So, power rule. So, magiging negative 9, to by exponent na 9, then, copy yung inside function nyo na 6 plus 7x to the 4th. Then, 9 minus 1 is 8. Okay? Times, derivative naman ng inside function nito na 6 plus 7x to the 4th. So, this time, last na yon Kasi, hindi na siya composite function. Polynomial function na lang siya. So, times, dito ko na lang isulat. Derivative ng 6 plus 7x to the 4th is, yung 6, derivative niya is 0. So, hindi ko na isusulat. Then, derivative ng 7x to the 4th is 7 times the base 4, then x raised to the third, minus 1 yung exponent. Okay? So, simplify na lang natin. Yung mga constant, multiply natin. So, 10 times 5, times 3, times negative 9, times 7, times 4. Ilan lahat yun? Negative 37,800. Okay? And then, we have this x cube, right? So, x cube, times, unahin ko na to, yung 1 plus quantity 2 minus quantity 6 plus 7x to the 4th, raised to the 9, raised to the 3rd, raised to the 4th. Times, ito naman, yung quantity 2 minus 6 plus 7x to the 4th, raised to the 9, squared. Okay? And then last, etong, 6 plus 7x to the 4th quantity raised to 8. Okay, so therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have y is equal to square root of x raised to square root of x times e raised to x squared. Okay, so this time, meron tayong product of two functions, which is yung square root of x raised to square root of x times e raised to x squared. So, gagamitin natin yung product rule. Kaso mapapansin nyo, itong first function natin na square root of x ay nakaraise sa another function of x na square root of x. So, meron tayong gagamitin dito na mas madaling process para mahanap yung derivative niya. Which is, hanapin muna natin yung logarithm ng both sides of the equation. So, let's say natural logarithm na lang. So, parang tinatawag to na logarithmic differentiation eh. So, pag ginawa natin yon we have ln y is equal to ln of square root of x raised to square root of x times e raised to x squared. Okay? And then, apply natin yung product rule for logarithm. So, pwede natin itong paghiwalayin as ln of square root of x square root of x plus ln of e raised to x squared. And then, apply natin further yung property ng logarithm, yung power rule. Pwede natin ibaba yung exponent niya sa tabi ng ln, right? Sa so, magiging square root of x times ln square root of x plus, eto naman, makakancel natin dito si ln, e matitira is x squared. Property ng logarithm. Okay, so parang meron na tayong ln y is equal to square root of x times ln of square root of x plus x squared. So, this time, pwede natin i-derivative both sides of the equation. So, this time, apply naman natin yung implicit differentiation. Kasi, hindi na nakasolve yung function natin explicitly for y in terms of x. Kasi, yung left side is naging ln y na, right? So, hanapin natin yung dy over dx. So, pag derivative natin itong left side, ano yan? Derivative ng ln y is what? 1 over y. Kasi dahil y yung dinidirivative natin na variable, dapat may nakamultiply na dy over dx. Okay, so naturo ko naman sa inyo yung implicit differentiation, right? Okay, and then, itong right side, derivative natin. So, dito muna tayo sa square root of x times ln square root of x. So, product rule. So, copy ko muna itong square root of x times derivative ni ln square root of x. So, ito pwede kong gawing ln x raised to 1 half, right? So, parang 1 half ln x na lang siya. So, therefore, pwede natin i-derivative to as what? Constant si 1 half. So, tabi ko na lang sa gilid. Then, derivative ni ln x is 1 over x, right? Plus, this time, copy ko naman itong ln square root of x times derivative nitong square root of x. So, ano yun? 
x raised to 1 half yan, right? So, power rule, 1 half, x raised to 1 half minus 1 or negative 1 half. Okay? Plus, ito namang derivative ni x squared. 2x lang, right? Okay? So, i-gather natin itong expression na to. So, square root of x over 2x plus ln square root of x over 2 square root of x. Right? Kasi bababa tong x raised to negative 1 half. And then, plus 2x equals 1 over y times dy over dx. Okay, so combine natin to into single fraction. So LCD is 2x square root of x, right? 2x square root of x divided by 2x is square root of x. Times square root of x is x na lang. Plus, 2x square root of x divided by 2 square root of x is x. So times ln square root of x is x, ln square root of x. So ito parang may over 1, right? So 2x square root of x divided by 1 is 2x square root of x times 2x is what? Plus 4. x squared times square root of x. Or ilan yun? x squared times x raised to 1 half. x raised to 5 over 2. Okay? So, pwede natin i-factor out na lang dito si x. So, magiging 1 plus ln square root of x plus 4 x raised to 3 halves. Binawasan natin ng isang x. Okay? Over... 2x square root of x. So, cancel si x. So, we have 1 plus ln square root of x plus 4x raised to 3 halves divided by 2 square root of x. 1 over y dy over dx sa left side. So, ang kailangan lang natin is dy over dx or y prime, right? So, therefore, we have dy over dx. Multiply natin both sides by y equals. So, cancel. Dito naka times sa y times same expression. So, pwede natin ngayon ibalik yung y in terms of x. So, ano ba yung y natin? Ito. So, we have square root of x raised to square root of x e raised to x squared times 1 plus ln square root of x plus 4 x raised to 3 halves over 2 square root of x. Okay? So, therefore, ito na yung final answer natin. Kung gusto nyo, Diba, same base itong square root of x saka square root of x. Kapag naka-divide, anong ginagawa? Sinusubtract yung exponent. So, equal siya sa square root of x raised to square root of x minus 1 e raised to x squared times 1 plus ln square root of x plus 4 x raised to 3 halves quantity divided by 2. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video. More problems on derivatives. So, sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.